Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, and uh, this is the report I told you that I was going to do on John Goffman. Uh, this is take two or three or four, but I basically did upload one where I was reading all of my highlighted efforts from this article called Nuclear Power and Ecocide, an Adversary View of New Technology, printed in the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, September 1971. So John Goffman wrote this then, and it's a great article. I basically posted his obituary that talks about the 90% rule if you follow those links, but it doesn't get you to the original article. I, ha I had the link, but I didn't print out the article, and I wish I had because the link is now broken. So I have to do some homework on trying to find it. But in trying to find that, I found these other really awesome articles, like this one, Nuclear Power and Ecocide. I found... And our, a link about him being connected to the plutonium, what I call plutonium file project. And that's basically where the government was injecting people with plutonium. I mean, they stopped that pretty quickly. And after that, that's when he, he went off to study the Japanese. Okay, so I think it affected him quite a bit. But this article is awesome. And uh, I just wanted to share something with you on it because it talks to us as activists. This was him writing in 1971. This is his, con his conclusion marks at the end of the page. He offers up a strategy that he thinks it ought to go to, right? And he says that people will answer him in two different ways to his proposals. He said, first... The first thing they'll say is, the problem lies in other directions. How dare you make such a brazen analysis of reality? To this, I would reply that the time for tranquilizers is over. I love that. The time for tranquilizers is over. No shit, Sherlock. Second, insuperable economic hurdles would prevent implementation of these proposals. This is why I would suggest the development of a powerful activist constituency to demand that the economic hurdles be overcome. In other words, we can't accept the fact that the government's going to tell us, oh, we can't fix nuclear because it's too expensive. We can't test for plutonium because it's too expensive. We, we don't know how to do this. We don't know how to do that. It's too costly. That is bullshit. I mean, nuclear contamination is killing us, folks. Listen to what he says on this first page. He talks about what it is, and he says... We do not have appropriate insti well, the first thing he says is the threats posed by food adulteration, poisonous chemicals in agriculture and commerce, and radioactivity may individually and by or by synergistic activity guarantee ecocide. We do not have appropriate institutions which will guarantee an early alert to potential possible subtle secondary effects of technology. You know what that means? Radiation, cancer from GMOs and chemicals and diabetes and heart attacks and sterility and mutations. If no early feedback, if no early feedback information becomes available concerning potentially detrimental consequences, the technology, the technologically based industry grows apace, and the unanticipated detriment, detrimental effects will necessarily afflict the entire population. Get that? See, Mr. Nuclear Man? We're done with him, man. We are going to make him go away. So anyways... I wanted to upload a little second thing and encourage you guys to look at the links. If any of you can find that video that I, the link broke for me about his study on the Hiroshima people, please post it in the comments. And um, I look forward to you adding to this conversation. Hopefully you'll start digging around uh, on the, based on the links that we all share here. So I'll talk to you guys later. And um, sweet dreams. And let's believe that we will succeed because you know it's not what happens it's what you do with what happens right so there's a ton of that stuff that you can get going but the bottom line is is we have to believe that we're going to win we have more power we have more energy we have more love we have more strength we have more determination they're not going to win we're going to win we're going to stop the nuclear industry in the insanity and all these caligulas and then we'll pick up the pieces and we'll create a really magnificent culture and society. Which we really have the base of because people are really awesome human beings. So you guys take care and sweet dreams and be courageous.